Would you like to know about some of the new features available in the 1812 release of Oracle Identity Cloud Service? In this video, we take a look at these features and examine some of the changes within the Identity Cloud Service console. Oracle Identity Cloud Service now provides you with a navigation drawer to maximise what you can see in the Identity Cloud Service console. To display the navigation drawer, click the Action menu in the upper left corner of the console. You'll see a listing of all folders and pages that compose the console. Select a folder to see the pages associated with that folder. Then, click the menu item that represents the page that you want to display in the Identity Cloud Service console. One new feature of Oracle Identity Cloud Service is the ability to create secure form fill applications using a generic template in the App Catalog. This functionality allows Oracle Identity Cloud Service to store and encrypt user credentials so users can sign into the application automatically without having to enter their credentials each time they access the application from the My Apps page. Another new feature of Oracle Identity Cloud Service is the Downloads page. This page is a centralised location where you can download software development kits for Java, Node.js or Python, or the eBusiness Suite Asserter to integrate your web applications or Oracle eBusiness Suite with Oracle Identity Cloud Service. Click Download to the right of the software development kit or application that you want to download. Let's now take a look at some of the other changes made to the user interface for Oracle Identity Cloud Service 1812. The Delegated Administration page has now been renamed Administrators. Also, there are three new features added to the Security menu. Identity Provider Policies, Sign-on Policies and Network Perimeters. Let's first take a look at Network Perimeters. A network perimeter contains IP addresses, IP address ranges or masked IP address ranges. After creating a network perimeter, you can prevent users from signing in to Oracle Identity Cloud Service if they use one of the IP addresses in that network perimeter. This is known as blacklisting. You can also configure Oracle Identity Cloud Service so that users can log in using only IP addresses contained in the network perimeter. This is known as whitelisting. After defining your network perimeters, you can assign them to sign-on policies. The Sign On Policies feature allows you to define rules to allow or prevent users to log in to Oracle Identity Cloud Service. You can then configure your Sign On Policies so that if you're trying to sign in to Oracle Identity Cloud Service using an IP address that's defined in the network perimeter, you'll be prevented from accessing Oracle Identity Cloud Service. Alternatively, you can configure this type of policy so that if you're trying to sign in to Oracle Identity Cloud Service using an IP address that's defined in the network perimeter, you can log in to Oracle Identity Cloud Service. You can also allow or deny access based on the identity providers that will be used to authenticate the user, the groups to which the user belongs, whether the user is assigned to administrator roles, or with specific user accounts. You can even prompt the user for an additional factor to sign into Oracle Identity Cloud Service. You can also indicate whether the user is required to enrol in multi-factor authentication and how often this additional factor is to be used to log in to Oracle Identity Cloud Service. Another new feature of Oracle Identity Cloud Service is Identity Provider Policies. Identity Provider Policies allow you to define which identity providers are visible in the sign-in page of Oracle Identity Cloud Service, either when they're accessing a specific application or attempting to access Oracle Identity Cloud Service protected resources. Oracle Identity Cloud Service also uses Identity Provider Policies to determine whether users authenticate into Oracle Identity Cloud Service with their usernames and passwords or through identity providers. There are three types of identity providers that you can assign to identity provider policies. SAML identity providers, social identity providers, and a local identity provider. SAML identity providers are used to establish trust between a SAML compatible authoritative source, 
such as Active Directory Federation services, so that users in your organization can access resources protected by Oracle Identity Cloud Service. Social identity providers allow users to access Oracle Identity Cloud Service using their social network credentials, such as LinkedIn. The local identity provider allows users to authenticate with Oracle Identity Cloud Service locally by providing their username and password. Let's suppose you've created several social identity providers and SAML identity providers, and you want to configure which of these appear in the Oracle Identity Cloud Service sign-in page. Without identity provider policies, you would not be able to configure this. So, if you had all of these SAML and social identity providers activated and set to appear in the sign-in page, they would all be displayed. If you would like to know about the other new features in this release, please visit the What's New documentation. Thank you for watching.